The Click Gear Golf Push Carts are some of the best and most popular golf push carts available on the market today. And the one thing I like most about them is the amount of accessory add ons that you can get for them. Today, I'm going to go over some of the most popular Click Gear accessory add ons, demo them for you, and you can make a decision if you want to purchase them for your golf push cart. I will link everything that I review in order in the description box below so you can check out what the current pricing is at the time of watching this video. All right, guys, I've installed most of the accessories onto my Click Gear Model 4 push cart, although a lot of these accessories do work with other Click Gear carts as well as Rovit carts. So make sure you check the compatibility before you purchase any of these accessories. Let's go ahead and start right over here at the top with our umbrella extender, the first accessory, and this will allow you to extend your umbrella. So if you're a little bit of a taller person or you just want a little bit of headroom, then you can get this little piece right here. And this will give you one inch and three eighth of an inch extension on there. And it does work with your stock umbrella holder or it works with the adjustable umbrella holder, which is the one that I have on here right now. And how this works, if we just unscrew this right here, and that will allow you to adjust which way you want your umbrella to go. So if it's windy or if it's sunny or whatnot, then you can adjust your umbrella right within there. So it's a super, super handy accessory to have. And we'll go down around to this side over here. And you can see right here, I've got the little brush piece right here. So if we take that off, this will allow you to clean your club. So it's got these little rivets right here, which will get into your grooves. And then it's got a nice little brush that's super strong and handy to use. I previously had one of these with my Click Gear Model 3.5 Plus, and I used it a lot. Super, super cheap and handy accessory to keep on your Click Gear cart. I've removed the brush and installed the Click Gear Range Finder case or Valuables case. We'll go ahead and unzip that. This is quite spacious inside, so you can store your wallet, your keys, or your rangefinder or a couple other different valuables if you want and it will actually stay magnetically closed so it's easily accessible or you can use the actual zipper that's included so that you don't have anything fall out by accident so it's a super nice handy accessory to have i've now removed the umbrella holder and installed the steering knob i have kept the extension piece on there just because i do like it on there I like the extra height right there and this little steering knob is really really cool it actually has a little bit of a grip piece right here to hold on to and if we hold on to that and when we push the cart around it's super super easy to do with one hand i really really like this piece we'll go over around to this side and first things first we've got the cooler bag which is a really handy accessory so if you want to keep your stuff either hot or cold and it's got a really nice insulated uh, interior on this so it's actually a lot thicker than i thought it was which is really really nice and if we look on the side right here we can see there's little storage pockets on both sides, which is handy to have those extra things right there. If we look right here, this is your extra large cup holder. And this is like a crucial accessory to have. I have had this with my previous cart because it's just a lot bigger than the one that's included. If you look at the stock one that's included, it's so tiny, it barely even holds a can of beer or, or a soda or anything like that. So I don't use that at all. The extended one fits way more cups and it's a lot sturdier. So I definitely would recommend this accessory if anything if we go down right here we've got the extra ball holder right here so we can store three extra golf balls you want to have extra storage for golf balls and make them easy accessible you can just store them right on this piece right here and i've installed the extra hook to put it on and if we go to the bottom area of the cart we can see we've got the little cooler bag right here and i absolutely love this accessory because you can store ice in it with cold drinks inside of it and you can store up to about 12 beers or drinks of any choice that you want inside of this cooler bag. There's a little pocket at the top as well as the bottom. So you can store lots of different drinks in there and keep them nice and cool. And I love how it connects right here. It connects right onto these bars right here and then Velcro's in at the top. So it's actually really, really strong and sturdy and can hold a lot of weight. The other thing to mention about the Click Air cooler bag is how low key it is, how it really fits into your cart and it doesn't protrude out anywhere. And it just makes it nice and sleek and super easy to use. I've now removed the cooler bag and I've installed the mesh storage net and it does install very easily. It, it locks into four different areas and it does have this little piece right here which will kind of lock right close. And this is great for storing like rain gear or a sandwich or different types of other accessories. It's got lots of room. It's probably got the most amount of extra storage room for any other accessory add-on. And if we look down below on one of the legs of my Click Gear cart, you can see I've installed the Click Gear shoe brush and I'm just gonna test it out right here. 
There we go. So it's very, very nice. Works very easily, very well. There are nice strong brushes on there and allow you to get the mud and dirt all off your shoe. And it's a, just a super easy attachment. Just attaches right onto the leg and it stays on there really strong. Next, you can see my bag is on there. And my bag is a stand bag. So the one problem with a lot of the stand bags is they've got the legs right here, which kind of intrude onto your actual piece that actually holds your bag into place. So what I've done is I've picked up the Click Your Bag Cozy and you can see the Bag Cozy attaches with Velcro in these two different areas right here. And then it's got three little pieces which will kind of position right in the middle of your legs and it'll allow it to hold your bag really, really sturdy into place. So if you're using one of these stand bags, the Bag Cozy is definitely a handy accessory to have. It definitely helps keep your bag in place properly. And next is the Click Gear Seat Attachment. And I know this one's a little bit funny to have a seat attached to your cart, but to be completely honest, this is probably more aimed towards the older golfer who is having issues walking a full 18 and needs to sit down every now and then. So the seat is a super handy add-on accessory. I would definitely recommend it, especially for people who aren't used to walk golfing and then switch to walk golfing. They might want to have this little seat, give them a little bit of a rest every now and then. The only thing I would say is it is a little bit hard on top of this seat but there is actually another accessory you can add on which will give you a sort of a cushion i'll link that down below for you if you're interested in that as well let's go ahead and test the seat out i'll show you what it looks like when you actually sit on it and when you do sit on it it will actually pressure down and lock right into the ground so you can see that kind of spring action right there so it's super handy it stays super strong and sturdy while you're on it Having a closer look at the actual seat itself, I'll show you how to take it out and put it back in. If we look, there's a little lever right here. All you have to do is just press that little lever right down and then the seat will just slide out of this. So I'm just gonna do it one-handed. So I'll just press the lever, slide it right out. And there we go, the seat's out. And so install it back in. All you have to do is just align it back into the middle right there slide it up and it clicks right in and it's nice and solid and secure in there. You do have to remove this big screw and the wheel as well as two other screws to install this piece right here which the seat slides into but it takes about 10 minutes it's super easy to do. Let's have a look at some other popular click gear accessories that I wasn't able to display for you today. First one is the click gear soft seat cover. This is the padded seat cover for your seat the one that I had mentioned previously. It's definitely worthwhile and it's actually not too expensive to get if you're getting this seat. And next Next is the Click Gear GPS watch holder, which is a little plastic piece which attaches to the handle of your Click Gear cart and it allows you to wrap your watch around it and just makes it nice and convenient, super easy to read. And next we have the Click Gear wheel covers and this is just a piece of material that wraps around all three wheels on your Click Gear cart, allows them to stay nice and clean so you don't have any mud or anything like that going into your car or wherever you do store it. Then we have the Click Gear storage hook and this is a just a little plastic hook that is perfectly aligned and matched with your click gear cart so that it hangs nice and flat on the wall. It allows your front wheel to just go perfectly against the wall as it hangs right onto this hook. This is something that I have for my click gear cart and I hang it up in my garage. I absolutely love it and it's only around $10. And if you do travel with your Click Gear push cart, there is the Click Gear travel bag. This fits perfectly with your Click Gear cart and it also fits a lot of different accessories within it as well. So it's a super handy piece to carry with you if you're traveling. And lastly, a little bit of a funny accessory that you can get. You can get the Click Gear cigar holder, which perfectly holds level a cigar of your choice. Not really the accessory for me, but it's kind of entertaining that they have something like this available. With so many accessories to pick from, I'm gonna go through my my top five in no particular order of the ones that I think are the best to start off with. First is the steering knob. The steering knob makes your cart super easy to position to push around. So it's definitely something that's worthwhile to pick up. Next is the shoe brush. The shoe brush, which attaches right to the bottom of the cart. This is something that I've had on my cart for a while and it's just really easy and convenient to always be able to make sure the bottom of my shoe is clean. After that, we have the extra large cup holder. This is a definite 
definite must have because the cup holder that's included with your Click Your Cart is super tiny and small, doesn't fit hardly anything. The XL cup holder is just way more convenient to have and it fits a variety of different cup sizes. And next is the cooler bag. I absolutely love this accessory because it allows you to store a bunch of drinks nice and cool, but then it also has a separate compartment where you can store either more drinks or you can store different types of things like your wallet, your keys, or any other valuables. So it kind of acts as a double duty type of bag. And last is the bag cozy. So if you're someone like me who uses a stand bag, then it's definitely handy to have the bag cozy because it actually locks your bag into place, makes it super, super sturdy. This is an accessory that I wish I bought before, but I only bought recently and I absolutely love it. And that's gonna wrap up this video. Let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite accessory that you saw on my video today. And don't forget, I've linked everything in the description box below. So if you wanna know what the current pricing is for all of the accessories I've gone over, they are all linked below. I have also done review videos on the Click Gear 3.5 Plus and the Click Gear Model 4, as well as a comparison between the two of them. I'll link those videos in the description box below as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.